Well, first stop, Tim Hortons. <laughs> So here we are on Cut Knife Street in Cut Knife, Saskatchewan. And I heard there's a little tourist attraction here that I wanted to take a look at. So we'll see if we can find it. We're here in Cut Knife, Saskatchewan. And this behind me is the world's largest tomahawk as recognized by the Guinness World Book of Records. And it was constructed in 1971. Oh, it looks like a pretty nasty storm coming our way. Well, look at this. I think that was in the movie Cars where they had that angry combine that chased uh, Lightning McQueen. Well, we found where he retired to. And Tow Mater. So an update for our journey here. After we got to bigger Saskatchewan, we had learned that my mom had passed away. So once we got to Saskatoon, we flew back home to be with family and pay our respects and take care of a few things. So now we're back on the journey, which mom would have wanted. She definitely would have wanted yeah. that. Now one of the awesome benefits of doing this YouTube journey is when we started out on this trip, and if you'll remember back to episode number one, I had my mom at the beginning of the video. And it turned out to be that's the last time I saw her. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of that right now. Had to stop off and say goodbye to my mom before we take off on this trip. Today we're heading out. <laughs> See you later, mom. Uh, have a good trip. I'm gonna miss you. But I'm gonna be thinking of you. And I love you both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to my mom. Awesome mom. An awesome nanny to our kids. And a pretty amazing second mom to me. To Cheers. Heather. Cheers. See you tomorrow morning. It's time to get back into traveling again. And I just can't remember, where are we? Saskatchewan! Saskatchewan! Ride or pride? Right. I remember now. We're here in Craig, Saskatchewan. No, not Craig. Craig and we were looking for a roadside attraction. And I'll show you a picture of it here because it looks pretty funny. So we followed all the GPS directions and it's not quite the same as what the picture shows it to be. I remember my father-in-law used to say about Saskatchewan, but it's true, this is flatland country. No, 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 what dad said. <laughs> was you know you're in Saskatchewan if your dog runs away and you can still see him going three days later. <laughs> well, we're just coming into the center of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and we heard there's something here about the underground tunnels. We found the tunnels of Moose Jaw and went in for the first tour, and as soon as they started, they told us there's no pictures or recording. So this is it. 
What this is, is there's underground tunnels here in Moose Jaw, and it's got a history back to the Chinese Canadians that were here at the turn of the century, and Al Capone when it was time for the bootlegging days. Prohibition. Well, we just got out of the tour of the tunnels of Moose Jaw, and we're back to liquid sunshine. <laughs> Good thing I brought my jacket with me. Well, at least it's only a couple kilometers to get back to the campground. There, made it back. Wonder if I should go for a ride. Well, good morning. Here we are in Moose Jaw, and we're taking off to Regina today. Oh, what's that up ahead? We're here in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and we're standing in front of the world's largest moose. His name is Mac. We'll introduce you to Mac the Moose. Now, he was the world's tallest moose, and then they built another one in Norway. So what they did here in a friendly feud is they built another set of antlers, and now he's the world's tallest moose again. It was a moose feud. Moose feud. Say that three times. Moose feud. Moose feud. Moose feud. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Regina, the capital of Saskatchewan. So this part of the trip, I'm trying to find some odd roadside attractions. So I think I just found one here in Regina, so we're gonna pull over and take a look at it. Here's a roadside attraction. It's a life-size recreation of a grasshopper here. <laughs> this is Reginald the grasshopper. Big here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Lou? I said that's about the size of the mosquitoes in Liard Hot Springs. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm trying to find here is Taylor Field in Regina, where the Saskatchewan Rough Riders play. It's such a big thing in Saskatchewan with the Rider Pride. So this is the home of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And I used to know this place as Taylor Field, but it's called Mosaic Field right now. Mosaic Stadium. Mosaic Stadium. And it's locked tight. And I thought we could get a, I was hoping we can get a tour inside just to see what it was like. Look at that, all the seats are green. <laughs> so I don't follow the CFL all that much, but I think this is where the Grey Cup is this year. And I got a sign here. Looks like it's November the 15th to 20th, the festival. Ooh, that'll be cold. I think it's pretty darn cold in Saskatchewan in November. <laughs> it is pretty cool to watch how the fans around here with the Rider Pride, they're just pretty extreme. It's pretty cool to watch. We're here at the RCMP Heritage Center in Regina, Saskatchewan, and we're going to take a tour of the museum of the Northwest Mounted Police and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. The, the police forces behind the most iconic police uniform in the world. Here's a map of the Dominion of Canada, 1873. Boy, the Northwest Territories was big then. Here's a picture of Corporal Dempster, which the Dempster Highway was named after when he was out to find a lost patrol. Sam Steele was one of the most prominent members of the Northwest Mounted Police. And there's a picture of him in the early days up in Dawson. And here's one of his original tunics. So here at the RCMP Heritage Center in Regina, I was looking at the list of commemorating members that had served during World War I, and I knew that my grandpa Bodwell was part of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. And there his name is right there, so that's really cool. The other thing I know is this jacket was always, a uh, jacket like this was always in my grandma's house and it's gone to the museum in Red Deer and we just found the cap last week when we were at my mom's house. So it's going to the museum too.
We've now gone through Saskatchewan. Now we're on a mission to get to Manitoba. So I couldn't find it anywhere. And Lucinda pulled over because it's right there in the trees. <laughs> okay, let's go in. <laughs> I think that was in the movie Cars where they had that angry combine that chased uh, what that was the character's name? I can't remember. Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Okay. okay. Let, let's take a picture. So okay. look at the camera. Look at the camera. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> okay.